Hello guys, Lego Master Reviews here, and today I have an update video on my Lego shelf display. Uh, I did post a video like this, like, I want to say one or two months ago, but yeah, a lot has changed since then. Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update here. Yeah, a couple of things have changed, but yeah, that being said, let's go right into it. So the first one on the top shelf, I remember last time that we had the Benatar up here, but I did change that up. Um, I did say that I was going to put the bully here. Since once that came out, on one, at the time of that video, um, a couple months ago, that bow wasn't out, but yeah, now it is. So I swapped that out. Well, it's not as detailed as a model. I think this is still just a very awesome set. I like that a lot. But the coin jet's still here. That hasn't changed at all. I did put all the Avengers inside, though. And that's a video for a different time. But yeah, they're all in there. Also got a couple of the Guardians 3 sets. And yeah, other than that, it hasn't changed much. So yeah, I really like this one. One that hasn't changed at all is the Avatar set. The Avatar shelf. Um, Yeah, the Avatar 1-1. One, one. Avatar 1-1 one, one shelf. And yeah, I really like this one. As you can see, I haven't changed mine. I still got Truth Martell up there and um, Jake Sully. And yeah, the little, the, everything's pretty much the same. Not much really want to change on this. Really happy how this one looks. But yeah, nothing's changed at all. Another one that hasn't changed is the Stranger Things um, shelf. I really want to, I don't really want to put anything other than Stranger Things sets. Like, I know these are brick heads. And that's about it, honestly. But if we ever get, like, future Stranger Things sets, I would definitely put those on the side if they're, like, small ones. The uh, only thing, other thing I'd probably put here is, like, maybe some Stranger Things Funko Pops. But other than that, it hasn't changed at all. I really like how this one looks. You know, the mini figures there. But one that has changed a lot, you might remember the last time that the um the Tumblr was here, the DC one. But I have since replaced it with the Indiana Jones Diorama set, which I have a review on. So yeah, if you want to check that out, um, it's in my channel. So yeah. But yeah, did change it out. The Tumblr was here, so I put that there. I also have the two, um, the one, the two little builds from the Indiana Jones set, the, the fighter plane chase, as you can see. It's really like how that looks as well. And down here, the office is still here, but I did take um, away a couple of like the other two side sets, the, um, the 007 car and the um, the Ghost Rider mech bike. bike. But yeah, so I still have the office set here. I absolutely love this one so much. One of my favorite sets of all time. Probably the, my favorite Lego idea set. Yeah, very awesome. Love this set, still here. And then I put the other um, Indiana Jones set, the um, Well of Souls, as you can see, which I'll set a review on. So yeah, have this one here, as you can see, I really like how this one looks. Again, that's back there. And yeah, really like it. Um, like how this one turned out as well. While it doesn't really make sense why it's like the office and the Jones, I still don't really mind it. I think it's pretty cool. And this one hasn't changed at all. I love this diorama set. It's one of my favorite and part of my favorite Jurassic Park set. Love the diorama set. So yeah, I haven't changed that out much. Really like this one. But yeah, that is the one shelf here and I'll give you an update on my other ones. For the second shelf here, um, I didn't change really that much. You might notice that there's a couple Spider-Man minifigures missing just because I was Spider-Verse video plans around when the movie comes out, so I had to take those down and kind of record it, get everything prepared, but yeah, stay tuned for that on the Across the Spider-Verse releases, but yeah, um, I did take down a couple other minifigures, though, like, as you can see, the Guardians are gone, a couple others just on the side here, I did add Moon Knight there, though, and yeah, as you can see, I also put the um, 007 car there, because I had nowhere else to put it, but yeah, still like this all, as you can see, it's pretty much the same, though, you can see Peter Parker talking to Doctor Strange, Matt Murdock, at the Hulkbuster there, and I moved there, and then the Wasp, and yeah, just, just again, nothing's really changed on this one though, but still love it, and it's probably my favorite shelf. As far as the Avatar 2 shelf goes, I haven't changed anything on that either. Um, I'm really happy how this one looks, it's a bit crowded, but again, I don't really mind it, I think it's still really cool. Again, nothing's really changed on this one, the minifigures are all pretty much in the same spot. And yeah, love this shelf, I don't know if I changed much. One that has substantially changed though, I made it a Mandalorian Season 3 shelf, as you can see, if you remember. I had the um, ATT here and the Bat Bat Shuttle over here, but since we got these new Mandalorian Season 3 sets, I just wanted to release, um, or I mean, just wanted to put them on here, as you can see. So we got the Snub Fighter, and then we got the um, Mandalorian Starfighter that released a couple years ago. The Fang Fighter and the TIE Interceptor, as you can see. Also put a Bo-Katan Funko Pop there, just because of that. It kind of looked cool in the corner, and there was a little empty gap, empty gap there. But yeah, really like this one, as you can see. It's a bit basic, it just has like four ships on there, but I still really like the Mando Season 3 shelf. Moving down one, I love the ATG so much, so I didn't really want to take it down completely. So I just moved it down the shelf. I also got the 501st um, Cannon here from the Battle Pack they released this year. As well as the Justifier, which is one of my favorite Star Wars sets. I think it's really cool. And yeah, I just wanted to keep it there. As you can see, it kind of fits in line with like the prequels and the Clone Wars and Bad Batch. So yeah, really like it. And then the bottom shelf here has changed a bit too. I angled the Millennium Falcon from Solo a bit differently. And instead, I took down the Luke set and I put the Obi-Wan Kenobi diorama, diorama, I guess you'd place it, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I put that one there. But yeah, other than that, nothing else has really changed. But yeah, the bottom three have definitely changed because I just wanted to remodel a bit. But yeah, 
and I'll show you my other shirt. As far as these other ones go, haven't changed at all. We got BD1, the Millennium Falcon, the Inquisitor Transport, the ATST, and the um, Andor Sep. Yeah, nothing's changed here, so I'll move on to the next. As you can see on the other side shelf, um, I did put a couple little Baby Yoda like figurines on the edge. Other than that, I have the, still have the um, buildable Lego Baby Yoda. Moving down, we have the Mando helmet here. And we have the Captain Rex helmet here. I'm not sure if this was here last time I recorded. I'm pretty sure they know it's Starfighter is here. But yeah, now I put the um, Captain Rex helmet here. And I have the other one. The end on Starfighter on the other shelf, which you'll see in a second here. But yeah, love the Captain Rex helmet so much that I'd put it here. Here we have the Bad Bat shuttle. I'll get another set of loaded. I just didn't want to be like, I wanted to keep it on display still. It's really like this one, as you can see. So it's just another one below. And then moving down one more. We have Optimus Prime here, which is kind of smushed down here. But I really like him still. Um, really like them. Um, yes, everything. This is a really cool and underrated set that a lot of people don't talk about anymore, but it's still a super cool one of my favorites. But yeah, that being said, let's move to the last, last shelf here. is a lot less Lego, as you can see. So if you're online, the Legos, you might find this one a little less interesting. But yeah, I still want to show it because I'm really happy how it turned out. We have the Groot here, Marvel Legends Groot, Star Lord, and Rocket down there, as well as the Volume 2 Rocket Funko Pop. We also have a lot of the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 Funkos, as you can see. Really love that movie. I did make a community post about it. If you want to check my full thoughts um, about that movie out. But yeah, then we have the No Way Home Funko Shelf here. Again, not another Lego one, but I still really like how it turned out. It's a bit crowded, as you can see. But still really like it. We got some of the villains there. Doctor Strange, MJ, and like um, the kind of beat up MCU Spider-Man. Uh -huh. We got the Unmasked Andrew Garfield and then the final suit. Which is so awesome in my favorite suits. And then we got the Magic 3 in front, obviously. And then the goat, Matt Murdock, in there. Love that one as well. Yeah, again. Um, if you're not if you're not really not into Funkos, you might not like this as much. But yeah, really like how this one turned out. Down here though, we have the Mandalorian and Grogu Funko from the Book of Boa. And then we have the Lego in on Starfighter, which was one of my favorite um, Legos um, ships made. Um, Legos made. So really like that one, as you can see. Super cool. I like how this one turned out. Might be my favorite on the shelf. It's really like the simple like look of it and then on Starfighter there. Moving down, we have the Star Wars the Black Series um, figures. Most of these are more of the newly released ones. As you can see, we have like the new Andor wave, as well as Cal Kestis there from Jedi Survivor. A couple of vintage and like, um, um, I forgot what it's called. I think the vintage series and like some retro figures. You got Scourge, um, Mando in the Morak armor. And yeah, Crosshair. And yeah, really like this one again. Um, if you're not really into this though, you might not like it as much. But I did do action figure uh, reviews originally here on the channel. I do still collect a little bit. So yeah, I really like these ones as you can see. And then moving down here on the last one, we have the Up House, which I did review on the channel here a couple days ago. So if you want to see my review on that, go check that out. But yeah, just like the simple look of this one as well. But yeah, that's the final shelf. Um, and as you can see, really love like this one. Uh, I, I like how they all turned out. And yeah, this one is pretty new. Really like this one. And it definitely will be changed up. But yeah, and this definitely won't be the last like collection kind of shelf video I'll be showing off. Um, because um, I'll definitely be changing a lot of things up here. So yeah, I expect one maybe in the next one to two months when a lot of things, stuff has changed. Yeah, just a quick little update. But yeah, wanted to show you guys my shelves and a quick um, update and about you know, how, how the sh shelves have changed in my collection. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.